Hey everyone. So I'm going to be doing the current love energy for the sign of Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Let's see what's going on. So first we have strength. It's kind of out of view, huh? There we go. We have the Five of Cups. And then we have the Two of Cups. Clarifying strength, you have the sun. Clarifying the five of cups, we have the two of wands. And then clarifying the Two of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so let's take a look here. Someone's definitely in an energy where they need to defend themselves or stick up for themselves about something or they're getting through a lot of different obstacles in their life. I feel like... Someone has had a renewed sense of courage and strength and they're feeling a lot more positive right now. Um, and that may be why they're in a place to defend themselves and really stick up for what they believe in at this time. I'm definitely seeing that someone is feeling very courageous and feeling very positive and happiness, has some happiness in their life or is happy, goodness. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but I do see that Someone was being very pessimistic and only something happened in the past and someone was feeling very, something bad happened and someone was very sad about it and they were only focusing on the negatives in their life and they couldn't see the positive things that were still left in their life. I'm going to get more clarifiers, but I'm just reading what I'm seeing right here. And I feel like now someone has like a renewed sense of direction. Like now they're not just wallowing anymore. Like they know what they're going to do next. They know where they're going to go, what they're going to do. And I think it's to pursue like a connection, a soulmate connection or come into union with someone that they feel that they have a soulmate connection with. This person has gone through a lot of healing from whatever this five of cups energy was, whatever was that was making them sad and feel pessimistic and negative. 
they've been doing a lot of healing from that situation. Or they feel like coming into union with their this person who they see as their soulmate will be healing to them. Clarifying strength in the sun, we have the three of cups. So someone be, may be having the, feel like they're in a good place now and feel like they have the courage and the strength to reconcile with you or you're feeling that you have the strength and the courage to reconcile with someone at this time now. May want to get together and meet with this person. We have the Queen of Cups. So I'm seeing like whoever this was that was sad and being pessimistic, it took a lot of self-love to get them out of that place. Maybe things didn't go right, didn't go good in a love situation. And it really, you, this, you know, it may have been you, you really had to love yourself or they really had to love themselves to come out of that bad place and have a renewed sense of passion in their life or you did. I'm getting water energy from yeah there's a lot of water energy in this pile so I know this is an Aquarius reading but maybe you have like maybe like a a water sign as a moon sign or a rising sign Venus sign or maybe your person's a water sign or they have water sign placements of wands I feel like this person wants to come into union with you they feel like they've done the work they feel like they've done the healing but they feel like it's like they're waiting for the option to be with you to come in. Like, it's like this person may be just waiting for you is what I'm getting. I think this person may be still up in their head, still trying to heal from some things and I think they also may just be a little confused still I think they know that they feel this soulmate connection with you but I think right now they're just waiting to get, get to a better place or they're like waiting for something to manifest in their life and for them to come out of this confusion about there's something they're confused about and they're waiting for something to manifest to end the confusion and then they feel like they can offer you something yeah and then they feel like they can work on things with you Someone is extremely stubborn and will, unwilling to change. I feel like this is a past energy. I feel like this person was very stubborn in the past. And I think that they were like really having a hard time coming out of that five of cups energy, being sad and pessimistic and 
but I'm just seeing so much positivity like in this th spread and I just really feel like they're they're coming out of that for sure well we'll get more clarify clarification have heart love deep affection and caring so yeah this person does love you they feel deeply for you i feel like you inspired them to change lost a card there Flew all the way back there, goodness. All right, let's see here. See, Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So that's stubborn twice. Hmm. Well, this came out. News is on the way. And then on the bottom we have here money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall so maybe that's why that person was sad maybe they had like a loss or took a loss financially or some type of loss and maybe that's what made them sad and Now that they've got this new, you know, had this new abundance that came in for them, I feel like it gave them like a renewed sense. Like they, now they are feeling more positive about life and have a better outlook. And let's see, the two stubborn cards are a little bit concerning. peace and harmony so I feel like this person was like in a I just feel like they were in a really bad place and maybe they were like taking it out on other people and I feel like now they're like feeling very zen like they've you know they're not in that angry energy anymore and because they've done the healing and now they're just feeling a lot more peaceful so if they treated you like that in the past I feel like they've come oh my gosh sorry guys i feel like they've come out of that energy let's get two more let's see what fell out here oh three of them fell out. You got shield. You need to defend yourself. So. This person that you're dealing with. Could be. They could be. Have been very. They could have been like a bully to you. Is what I'm getting. So. 
And if they are still in that energy, you may be the one that's healing. You may be, yeah, you may the one be the one that's healing and trying to have a more positive outlook on life and having the courage. And if this person is being aggressive towards you, like spirit's saying that you need to defend yourself. Like not saying that you need to physically fight them or anything like that, but don't let this person walk on you. If they're treating you like this, leave. If, you know what I mean, like, don't let them treat you like this is what I'm getting. Always remember that, like, the energies are vice versa. So you take it how it resonates. If you know your person's the one being stubborn and aggressive, then take those parts as, you know, their energy. have horseshoe good luck so yeah I see things really improving for you but you just can't it's like it's like once you get to the to a point where you don't let people walk on you anymore is when things are going to get better for you is what I'm getting I see that you love this person very much and I know sometimes you know, it's hard to stick up and be that way to people that we love, even if they're treating us that way. But Spirit's saying that you cannot let this person walk on you. You need to stick up for yourself. And, you know, if they're treating you this way, I'm really getting that you should leave. Um, Let's get some love messages. You got my beloved. Do you love me the way that I love you? I love you so much. And you light up my world. So, yeah, I feel like ugh, this reading is a little bit confusing. But, and if it is really confusing to you, like, I hope this resonates. But if it's really confusing to you, um, feel free to message, reach out to me about a private reading. But I see a lot of love in this connection. And I see that someone like had something like something happened and it made someone like very like a mean person and maybe mean to you and it caused issues in a relationship with them and or maybe that's who this person was before they met you and I think they really feel like you're healing to them like I feel like you being with you made them see the light if that makes sense like you brought so much positivity and love and to their life that they never had had before and I just really feel like they're moving into this peace and harmony energy since they met you or since they've been with you but or maybe it is that like Maybe you've let this person walk on you so many times, like you've shown them that's how they can treat you. But if you show them like, I'm not going to put up with this, I will leave. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. That will, I feel like maybe trigger them to change. Because I don't feel, I think they do love you. They've just, they've got some other issues that they're working, dealing with and they're taking it out on you. Um, If you, I feel like if you're like, I'm going to leave, I'm not dealing with this anymore. It may, I feel like they love you enough that they would... You have to show people how, you know, when you keep taking that, that's showing someone how they can treat you. You have to show him, this person that you're not tolerating that. And I think that that will trigger them to make a change because they don't want to lose you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right, guys, like I said, I hope this resonates. If it doesn't, um, feel free to reach out to me for a private reading or if it's like parts of it does, again, like reach out for me, reach out to me about a private reading. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys 
continue to stay safe and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.